study for 40 minutes, is it okay? Yes. So I'm just going to start here, I'm going to brief you stay of the castle, where was it called, we bought the castle, and then from here, the other parts, inside the castle. Now inside the castle, uh, there's four museums, the museums are not part of the dive, the door, but outside the dive, there's a whole other museum, 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 there's a so just to begin with, uh, the castle was built by the Dutch East Indian Company, better known as the VOC, the Eenachter was English Company. Now the Dutch company was a very big business company, wedding company, and it built 104 of its castles all over the world. But this one in Africa was an outpost. Now if you put your world map, for example, Africa lies in the middle, Europe lies here on top, and the far is on that side. So in those days, they'll sell from Europe, Netherlands, round the tip of Africa, go to the Far East. For example, goods like coffee, sugar, spices, basically spices in India, and return back. So the Cape was like a halfway point for them. They could stop, get some first water and first food. So in 1651, there's a name called Jan van Riebeek to the Cape. But Jan van Riebeek arrived here in 1652. Now in his arrival, he bought a 4.4. And that one used to be just in front of the castle. But the one that he built was mainly built out of clay, earth, and mud, and in the middle of the cave. Jan van Ludwig was only 10 years at the Cape, but before he left the Cape, there was rumors uh, there was going to be a war between Britain and the Netherlands. So in order for them to protect the Cape against the English, they must build a strong defensive structure. Because if you control the Cape, because all the spices, the slaves, and all the economic uh, So they started building this castle from 1666 till 1679, 13 years to build. Today, the castle is 356 years old, wow. and it's the only surviving wow. colonial building in South Africa. Then you got five corners, it's like a pentagon shape, star shape, and five corners is your best defensive design, because there's no blind spots. Each corner protect the next corner. Mm -hmm. So the first corner is straight to my left, you can see the staircase. And if you want to go to the top, you're welcome to go all the way to the top. But the name of the corner is Leo Town. If you go clockwise, you get Uren, Katz and Ellenbogen, Nassau and Orania. This is the names of the five corners. And it was named after the main titles of Willem and Prince of Orania. You still with me? Yes. yes. So today the castle is a provincial monument with three museums. So to my left was the governor's house and there's a collection of artwork, paintings from the 1600s, On top is the long table that seat over 100 people. To the right, Secunda, which is the second in command of the vice governor. And it gets more like a house museum. It just gives you an idea how people used to live. So after the door, you can also visit these two museums. And uh, the entrance of the day was the first entrance of the castle. The first entrance was to be there where the cannons are. Because when they built the castle, it was on the beach. So the sea was just outside the castle. But in the winter, the sea water used to flood up, blocked the entrance. And Governor Simon van der Stijl, he wrote in the journal, there was one such a storm in Cape Town. It was all caught that year. It was flooded with sea water. So he was the governor to decide. Let's go down this entrance and open the one that we use today. Then there was no watches to tell them time. There were sandals, shadow clocks. There's two of them inside the castle. Uh, the first one, you can see the square that's in the wall with a black stripe. So this one for the morning. And the second one is here from 10 o'clock all the way till 6 o'clock. Oh. Now, if you look at the longest shadow of the sun, you can see just between 11 and 12, you are now past 12. So every city in town, Use their own time, so there's only the castle time. Okay. But it only works with sun sign, so when it's overcast or in the night, it doesn't work. But then they use an hourglass. So every hour, the guards turn the hourglass and they're in the oldest guard in South Africa. Okay, you can just move a little bit to the right. And the two statues, the one on the left is the Tunis, the king of the sea, and the other one is Mercury, the king of the messengers. Because there were business people, but they used to see, did they? Okay, first, this is a lot of people look at the floor. You can see the floor is very different here. It's little block. So it's the only part of the room. Because the governor was sleeping on top, 
this office was behind me. So when they pass him with horses and coats, they make a lot of noise. You complain about this noise, and it is wood, then the sound made by the horses. Do not disturb the governor. <laughs> okay, and this section, now the cross is only as far as the military life, it was used in World War I and II by the Royal Navy, but this is in memory of some African soldiers who lost their lives in the First World War. So each year, July month, people still come here, put flowers here, in memory of those who lost their lives. And the cross is still used by the military today. Okay. The name of the movie is The Woman King and was in this last month. So they're still busy fixing, cleaning some parts inside the castle. But this was the governor's private reception. So only the governor, high officials, important visitors would be allowed in the section of the castle. Behind me was the governor's house. The top floor was sleeping quarters. Offices in the middle, they got his wine cellars, kitchens, and slave quarters. Now, the first governor, Simon van der Stiel, was 30 years the governor. And he bought his pool in front of me for his own pleasure, he called it the Dolphin Pool. He used to have a private garden around the pool, he got a lot of plants and trees. And there's a town called Stellenbosch, it's named after him, Simon van der Stiel, Stellenbosch. Then, the bowling around the pool, they call it the Yet Bakery, it's just a bakery where they used to bake the bread. And also what happened in the pool and building, when the English came here, took over the cake from the Dutch. They decided but they need the pool, they need this building, so they demolished everything. They put everything in the ground to make a bigger way for the British troops to exercise. But there was a lady in Barnard, she used to sit here on the balcony, making sketches and paintings of the pool and building. So on her sketches they saw there was a pool, and only in 1985 they came back here, opened up the ground, found the evidence, and with the first big renovation was of the whole castle, they reconstructed the section again. But today, they use it only as a conference center and a restaurant. You can also have parties, weddings, concerts inside the castle. And if you just look on the fountain, a very careful in the middle, below the face, there's a V. Ausia, a theater was in the company. And that was the first company in the world where people can invest their money and will pay out their shares. And young Galibik work for the company, and there's no one with the surname for Galibik today in South Africa. Okay, so we divided in two. We did start it to the first courtyard, we're standing inside the second one. But the Dutch used to call it the Yet Weapon Plaza. So the name just come from Weapon Inspection. So solar sailors used to come here and inspect the weapons and the exercises. But notice the colors of the windows and doors are all green, except the building in the middle. So why they painted the red? Because it's not the gunpowder, ammunition there. So the reds would warn you, do not smoke, fire, reds and danger. Then the top floor used to be the sleeping quarters. Middle floor was a big storage space. You can see the big door with the hook. So they tie the heavy goods on a rope over the hook, pull it up and swung it in. Ground floors is mainly used for stables, for the horses and workshops. But as the settlement developed, some of the activities have moved outside the castle. So inside the castle, we live about 300 to 400 people, like a small town on its own. Okay, so now we're going to go inside the torture room. In was the torture room, and the room to my left is a dark hall, and it was only used by the Dutch. But the law of the Dutch was, if you commit a crime, you must admit you confess before they can decide what is your punishment. So they bring you here, torture you here until you admit you. But they can't point everything out, how they used to torture the people. There was many ways and methods, I just gonna point a few out. For example, tie your hands with a rope behind your back, pull a rope on your feet, there's a rope on your feet around this hook here. While in here, they would whip you the whips, this is one of the whips here. Uh, the cat with the nine tails is nine, is nine little stirrups, and some of them also have metal hooks on. Then the chains against the wall, tie hands the feet with the chains, whip you to your back from 40 laces to 120 laces. Then they have a thumb screw, where they pull the nails out. So when they decide this is your punishment, they will send you to Robert Island to work as a hard labor. But when they hang the people, the death penalty, they never hang the people inside the castle, always outside. And the reason for that is, they would leave your body there for a few days, not just like a warning for the other people. Back inside the dark hall, you're lucky if you get food and water, and once a month, they take all the people from here, read the sentence for them in front of the governor's house, and execute them outside. 
But I quickly just gotta close this door for us, switch up this light, we can just see what was like. Keep in mind there was no load sitting. <laughs> <laughs> so if you look up, you can see this opening, it was the only air like coming in for them. So it was always like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, one minute. Uh, keep in mind that your peers must have met you. So in business, you are sitting in the dark like that, hearing all the screaming sounds. They will confess quickly in the room. I just want to give you your peers a quick view of some of the corners of the, set of the castle. This mine is down there. So the first corner is straight to my left, there's a plate on top, Leal down. Second corner, in front of me, Juren. We're standing on top of the Elmogen, and the back is not so, and the Rhine is on the other side. Now the first entrance of the castle was between these two buildings and cuts in Elmogen. So everything behind you used to be sea water. But over the years, the Dutch, they reclaimed the land, by using all those rocks and sand stones on the mountains around and just push it into the sea. And you can see where the current is standing tall, the red and white. This is where the harbor of the sea is now today. And the mountain in front of me is Signal Hill. Every day at 12 o'clock, there's all fire the cannon there. To your left, Lion's Head, Table Mountain, and Devil's Peak. So you can see the only way the enemy will attack them is they come on the seaside because the mountains will take them from behind. So how will they stop torching the people? The ball is starting to keep here. So from here, take it to the port, and if they found guilty, take it to open island. Uh -huh. So the door to my left in the corner, you could wash the water, the clothing. Two doors in front of me, five to ten people in one room. Those oh, wow. the back, it's a darker one, solitary confinement. And then all stay at home, so you get your food too. Five from the twenty on the right, and the last one must be for single business. The writings on the doors and sculptures was made by them. So on top used to be open. Three guards on top and two guards in front. This glass is protection for the wind, for the rain, yeah. for the writings on the doors. Okay, get a quick look around. It was last used in the Second World War. If you finish, we got to go out to the right. Okay. So the end of our door, but still a lot of you to see do inside the castle. First of all, any questions on your side? Okay, so if there's no questions, you can still go back to the military museum on the left. Uh, the single staircase is more like a house museum. And you got the governor's house, all this makes an artwork in South Africa. And the end of the building on the left hand side is another Malayan exhibition. It tells you about the slaves arriving here in Spain. Each and every corner from the five, that staircase is going to the top. Martin is to the right in the corner, and the coffee of is closed, but you need the cooling of. Uh, what the, the first door is the double bed. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.